Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope this finds you well. Let me ask you, have you noticed that it's always easy to point out the wrongdoing in someone else rather than examining yourself? This past weekend, we experienced the Super Bowl. And okay, it didn't turn out the way at least most fans in this area would have preferred. And it was easy. I found, especially near the end of the game, to point out the wrongdoing. Why did the refs call that? Why did they do that? How could they overlook that? Sometimes it's easy to lose perspective when you get caught up emotionally or you forget about what's truly, truly foundational and important in life. I say this because we're currently looking at the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul's letter to the church at Rome. Uh, this week we're going to look at Romans chapter 2. I really encourage you to take a couple moments and read the chapter ahead of time. And if you haven't already read Romans 1, go ahead and read that as well. It'll just take you a couple minutes. In Romans 2, we consider how it's so easy to see the wrongdoing in others, but we need to take a look at ourselves. There's key points being made that only God is the righteous judge. So don't be judging others. That's true. We're not called to judge or condemn anyone. However, within the body of Christ, within the church, we are called to encourage one another and to hold each other accountable. There's a big difference between condemnation and judgment versus uh, encouragement and holding accountable. Think for a second, if you've ever been with a teenager just learning to drive, and you may say to them, slow down, slow down, you're driving too fast. Are you judging them? No, I'd say you're holding them accountable. For one reason, you're in the car with them. But you know, if you don't hold them accountable, then they will one day face judgment. Well, I look forward to gathering with you in worship. I hope you're doing well with life in general. But as we continue to dig into God's word, see what he would say to us. Let's continue to pray for one another, lift each other up, encourage one another, and hold each other accountable. Look forward to being with you. Take care. God bless.